should be having hey, it. Hey, hey, By my right. Wait, no, hey. no, 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 no. You, we got that fight coming up. You gotta it, bro. Yo, what is up, everyone? I'm back with some more insane boxing drama. And this time, it's not even in the ring, y'all. It's going down right at Floyd's crib. Yeah, you heard that right. The champ himself, Floyd Money Mayweather, just gave Gervonta Tank Davis a fistful right in his own living room. CNN even picked this up. And you know when the big outlets start talking, things just got real. All right, first things first. Let's break down what led to this heavyweight level altercation. It all went down at Floyd Mayweather's house, and let's just say there's a lot of history here that made this pop off. If you've been following the drama, and I know y'all are all about that tea, you already know that things between Floyd and Gervonta have been kind of tense lately. After all, Gervonta Davis was one of Floyd's star protégés. Floyd pretty much mentored this guy, took him under his wing, and made him a major name in the sport. But somewhere along the way, things got messy, like ex-besties turning enemies kinda messy. It's giving mentor versus student, but with way more punches. So here's where things get wild. Gervonta, for whatever reason, maybe he wanted to settle things, maybe he wanted more drama, decided to show up at Floyd's mansion. Yeah, the man went straight into the lion's den. What was he thinking, right? Anyway, sources say, Tank wasn't exactly invited, but he got in there anyway. Apparently, he came with a few of his homies and just let himself into Floyd's house, probably thinking they were about to have a calm, grown man convo. But, oh no, that's not how this went down at all. From what the reports are saying, things got heated fast. The two exchanged words, and then suddenly, boom, Floyd swung first. Yup, one clean shot straight to Tank's jaw. It said Tank didn't go down, but he was definitely stunned for a hot second. I mean, we're talking about Mayweather here. The man's fists are basically weapons. Now, here's the million dollar question, y'all. Why did Floyd snap like that? I mean, Floyd is usually the guy who likes to keep it calm and collected. He's all about that undefeated image, untouchable, always in control. But it seems like Gervonta really struck a nerve this time. Sources close to Floyd say that Tank brought up some real personal stuff, like stuff about Floyd's family, and that's when the gloves came off. If we're being real, this whole mentor-mentee relationship is like a ticking time bomb. On one hand, you've got Floyd, who wants respect and loyalty. On the other, you've got Tank, who wants independence and to step out of Floyd's shadow. It's a classic clash of egos and honestly it was only a matter of time before it exploded my thing my thing is i've always been there for him from day one um we had a game plan and my game plan was to help him become world champion and take things to that next level and I've, I've always been there for him. And just over the years, you can see I've always been positive, always said great things about him, always pushed him to be great. And um, but over the years, it's constantly going on the Internet, take a shot at Floyd, take a shot at Floyd, take a shot at Floyd, uh, constantly be disrespectful, constantly be disrespectful. When all I ever been was respectful to try to help this fighter, um, go as far as he could possibly go. That's all I ever did. But it's not just Tank who has been crossing lines lately when it comes to this beef. Gervonta Davis revealed some shocking news. Floyd Mayweather hired guys to jump him while he was out on runs. That's right. The only time Tank is unarmed is when he's out running, and Floyd took advantage of that. Mayweather spied on Tank and even shared his whereabouts with Tank's previous opponent, Frank Martin. Can you believe it? Frank Martin was the one who spilled the beans, but Floyd didn't stop there. Oh no, he went even further. We all know Tank Davis and Floyd Mayweather worked together for a long time. If there's one guy who knows all of Tank's moves, it's gotta be Mayweather. He outed all of Tank's moves to Frank Martin. That's right, Floyd gave away all of Tank's secrets. And let's just say, Gervonta Davis was not too happy about it. You know he the one, you know he the one told Frank that I was running at five o'clock, I mean seven o'clock in the morning, Friday. He told Frank that, he was giving Frank tips and stuff like that. I seen his people's uh, drive by while I was uh, running, it's cool. It's, it's all right. I, I don't really think too much of it. I ain't, 
he's not gonna hurt me. You know what I mean? So it's, it's, it's good to be with him than be cool with him because he can do some crazy stuff. He'll picture him in bad situations. Trainer of Gervonta Davis, Calvin Ford broke his silence on the beef. Ford made it pretty clear that karma is going to get to Floyd Mayweather. Another thing I want to touch on is the Floyd situation. You know, Floyd is Floyd. That's like I say, tank is tank, man. But at the end of the day, you know, the man is chasing greatness. And you should be supporting that. I always tell you that. You should be supporting that, you know. It's a rocky road that we're seeing what's going on. Just pay attention, man. The story is going to be built itself, you know. But again, that's how you burn bridges. Uh, somebody said this is the true colors of a person that's coming out, man. Cause they can't stand it, you know. Calm is the. I mean, I I don't like using that word calm, you know. But our Lord knows. He knows. He knows. He knows. Ford didn't hold back, dropping a major bombshell. Floyd Mayweather got tank hurt because they were on the brink of finalizing the mega fight between the two. Ford claimed that Floyd, knowing the showdown would expose him, decided to play dirty. He couldn't handle the thought of getting embarrassed by Tank in the ring, so he took drastic measures to make sure the fight never happened. Floyd resorted to some seriously nasty tactics to keep this blockbuster bout from ever seeing the light of day. Tank had already hinted he was gonna fight Floyd in September, but hey, Floyd took the fight outside the ring because that's his best chance to beat Tank. Uh. Whoever you name, they could be in it. If I name some fighters, can you say yes or no? Yeah. Shakur Stevenson? Yeah. Ryan Garcia? Yeah. Devin Haney? Yeah. Now, if you're wondering why Floyd has become anti-tank all of a sudden, here's why. Gervonta Davis recently revealed that he's landed a deal way bigger than Floyd. Now we know Floyd's ego is always through the roof. He's not going to stand by and let anyone outshine him in the industry. So you feel like it was a sub, like he was subbing you like, oh, like. He, he, that, he was going at me. Mm. He was going at me. Yeah. And I knew for sure he was going at me. That's why I went at him. It's yeah. no reason for me to go at Floyd. Yeah. That's yeah. what I was thinking. Cause it's, I feel like y'all, y'all got, I would say love hate, but it's been like the last. And Adrian Broner gave his word to Tank, promising that if it ever comes down to a brawl again, he's got his back. That's right. Broner is ready to step in and support Tank if things get heated once more. You know, and when me and Tank go at it sometime, he'll look at Tank and say, yo, listen to him, man. I'm good. What's your thought on Tank and Floyd going back and forth, man? I let two grown men handle their business, but they know whose side I'm on if we got to go there, though. <laughs> <laughs> Floyd even joined forces with Tank's biggest enemy, Shakur Stevenson. Yep, Floyd and Shakur are putting in the work together in the gym. Now, with those two in the same room, you just know they're plotting something against Tank. Then Floyd says he's been there for Tank. So what about the fact he tried to get him arrested? I don't know about you guys, but that doesn't sound like helping to me. And it gets worse. Want to know why Floyd got Tank locked up behind bars? He got Tank thrown into jail because he found out Gervonta Davis was sneaking around with his ex. Yep, last time I checked, dating someone was not a crime. Floyd is as petty as they come. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comment section. Stay tuned and we will catch you in the next video.